So you know what I just realized that blows? Um, Rapidash was at... He was at level 55. I'm pretty sure at one more level he was about to learn Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz would have been extremely helpful. It's a physical type fire attack that would have just demolished because this thing has massive physical attack. But shit happens. Let's 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 run over to the uh, to the champion. Oh look, it's this bitch again. Cynthia, have you been keeping well? No, I've been doing shitty. Those past four guys back there have been pissing me off. Killing my guys and it's just, damn it. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you have triumphed over any per personal re weaknesses too. The power you earned, the power you learned, I can feel it emanate. Eman well, eh, what? What are you talking about? I'm too pissed off to read these big words. As the Pokemon League champion, I, ch I accept your challenge. All right. So this is the champion. She has very high level Pokemon, especially in Diamond and Pearl. Her Pokemon are just extremely overleveled. She has six of them, rather than the five that the Elite Four guys have. Uh, she leads with a Spiritomb that has no weaknesses. It's it's not weak to anything. It has no weaknesses. It's level 61, so they're really... Fuck. If I still had balls, I would have just been able to Toxic it. That would have been nice, but I don't, so... You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna fuck around in this battle. I'm just gonna Spark. I don't even care what happens, because, you know what? You guys said I wouldn't be able to beat the Elite Four. And you know what that you know what that means? I did beat the Elite Four because I beat the per, the first four guys. I just didn't beat the Pokemon League. So jokes on you guys. I did, you guys were like, oh, Hayden's not gonna be able to beat the Elite Four. Well, uh, newsflash. That guy, the last guy, was like, congrats, you beat the Elite Four. <laughs> I just didn't get to beat the champion. So, ha! In your guys' face. Oh, sweet. Got a little paralyzed on that bitch. All right. And this psychic is probably uh. Not gonna kill me, sweet. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna full. Re I'm just gonna full restore. Swag. Get a little full restore action all the way up, and this psychic's gonna hurt. But it's chill because I can just spark again. Hopefully, don't knock it down to the point where she's gonna full restore. But honestly, probably will. Yep. Now yeah, look at that. She's gonna full restore. And embargo makes it so I can't use items. So that's just great. I can no longer use any potions. So, uh, cool. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go into, um... I can't, see, I can't really go into Shofu, because, eh, I'm gonna go into Claudio. Uh, even though Claudio only has, like, fighting-type moves. And a nor I have Extreme Speed, Close Combat, Aura Sphere, and Dragon Pulse. The only thing I can do is Dragon Pulse. Which does, like, nothing, and this bitch embargoed me again. I can't use any items. I cannot heal up my shit. Your Spirit Tomb's a real dick, bro. And your Silver Wind isn't very effective, but still. Ouch. Not cool. And your Psychic's super effective. I don't know why the hell you wouldn't... It's not super effective, but it does more than your stupid Silver Wind. Why wouldn't you do that in the first place? Dumbass. How did... How did... How did tell, somebody tell me how this bitch got to be the Pokemon Champion. It, it, it beats me. And look at that. Her Attack rows, Defense rows, Speed rows, Special Attack, and Special Defense. Awesome. One more Dragon Pulse is gonna kill it, so I did kill the first Pokemon of Cynthia's shit. Which is pretty pretty much cool, I guess, but whatever. Claudio gets some experience and everybody yeah. Claudio can use items again, thank you. Alright, next is a Gastrodon. Uh I don't have any I don't have any grass type moves on anything, so. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Shofu, might as well just go a little Give Shofu a little bit of last last moment shining in his last moments alive because he's probably gonna die soon. But I'm just gonna fly the sh oh this Gastrodon no Stone Edge. This bitch is not playing any games. Look at that, she is prepared. It didn't even kill me, but still, that hurt. Ouch. You know you ever you, you, have you ever taken stones to the freaking neck? It hurts. Hurts a lot. It's no fun. I feel your pain, Pelper. My fly does like nothing, and this muddy water is probably going to finish off Shofu. Damn it. Well, Shofu's now going to be resting in heaven with the whole rest of my team, and it's all up to Claudio and Gary now. So, uh, this is terrible. I'm just going to go into Claudio, and this dude probably knows earth Earthquake, I bet, but I'm just going to full restore. 
thing. This thing's level 60. What a stupid Gastrodon you have. Oh my god, that muddy water almost killed me. Wow, my accuracy fell, so if this close combat misses, that's just going to be the icing on the cake. Would you look at that? Close combat missed because of that accuracy fall. And now this Stone Edge is going to kill Claudio. Oh, no, it's not. What the hell? What am I thinking? This one's probably going to miss, though. I only have one close combat left. Fucking missed twice in a row. Twice in a row. <coughs> what kind of bullshit is that? Muddy Water kills Claudio. Awesome. And, um... We have one more Pokemon left in this whole series of videos. This was the first... This, this Luxray right here was the first Pokemon I caught in my Nuzlocke challenge to use on my team. And he is also the last one alive. That's some crazy shit. <sighs> I just have to crunch it, I guess. This stu Fuck you, snail. Fuck you. It'd be awesome if I just got a critical hit on everything from now on and just won. How crazy would that be? But Muddy Water is going to kill Gary. And, um... Tits. I paid $6,600 to this dumb bitch, and we blacked out. Well, although my Pokemon are being healed up right now, that is uh, not going to help because Nuzlocke Challenge has just been failed. I, I feel like I've let you guys down, but honestly, I don't know what else I could have done. I was trying to make the series of videos interesting, but... Shit happens, and I'm going to have to move Cupcake and everybody else in my team to my death box. You guys can go hang out with everybody else in the death box that has died. I'm not even going to talk. Unless, until you've played a Nuzlocke challenge and trained up all your Pokemon and then just got to the last person in the Elite Four and then lost, you've, you've never played Pokemon. That's, that's the shit right there. Okay, wait, I can't deposit my last one, so I have to grab another guy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab 69. Just switch you with my balls. And, uh, yeah. There's my team in the death box. My complete team is dead. Hey, look at here's QWERTY. My last Pokemon. My first Pokemon, my, my starter. Oh my god, but... I want to I want to take this opportunity to just thank you guys for watching this series of videos. If you ever if you enjoyed it at all, I appreciate it. Um, leaving thumbs up on my videos, commenting on all the shit really really helps out. I like that kind of shit. If you guys if you guys like more of this Nuzlocke challenge stuff, I will do another one. But uh, hopefully, fail less miserably. I mean, first time it's kind of hard to win, right? <laughs> I mean, I did beat four of the elite four guys, only losing. Actually, I only lost. I lost like three Pokemon, but shut up. I got for the. I got through the first three, losing like one Pokemon, which was I felt was kind of good. I was under leveled as fuck. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna just go extremely over leveled and then make it not interesting at all. But yeah, um, I, I got some requests of people wanting to see everybody in my death box that has died. These are all dead Pokemon that I can no longer use. Um, Giovanni. Everybody remembers Giovanni. This guy's. This guy. This guy was my bro. Giovanni was. Uh, pretty swell guy he had some shitty moves but whatever Cornopolis who remembers who remembers Cornopolis this guy was found on route 207 at level 7 he uh, had only fighting type moves and he was later replaced by Lucario but next is buddy which I never got around to using he had uh, cut for a while he's kind of my cut guy but buddy was actually a timid nature he probably would have helped out I honestly probably should have used him in the elite four he probably would have been a lot of help but who knows if he would have lasted that long. Next, Larry. I almost forgot about Larry. <coughs> would you look at you, Larry. My pink, pink little guy. Found him at Valley Windworks at level 8. We trained him up all the way to level 27, and then he died. He had 77 HP. Look at it, he's lucky. 707, 7777. That's, that's Larry for you. Next is the Hulk, another Geodude that we, that we caught at level 22, which we never really used. And we just kind of used him for rock smash and strength, so it's kind of not as sad looking at this guy. But, then there's Gary. My bro Gary. 
Found him at level 4 on Route 203. He is now level 54. Raised him 50 levels legitly through this Let's Play. Killed a lot of- he killed a lot of- a lot of shit. He- he was a good- he was a nice guy. <coughs> Although he didn't even have that good of a moveset, but... He's a Luxray, you know? They're not- they're not that good. <laughs> Next is QWERTY. <coughs> my starter. Got him at level 5, like Verity. Obviously, because he's my starter. And, uh... Yeah. Next, Cupcake. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Told you I shouldn't have done this videos when I'm sick, but Cupcake, he we found him at level 16 when he was just a little uh, Mime Junior, which is why his name's Cupcake, because if, if you've ever looked at a Mime Junior, they look like little cupcakes, and uh, that's that's Cupcake for you. So he had a filter, powers down super effective moves, which is actually helpful, I, I almost forgot he had that, but I loved Cupcake. I'm going to probably, I'm going to probably use another Mr. Mime. Mr. Mimes are pretty cool guys, you know? Next is Shofu. Shofu kind of joined our team late, didn't really get used too much, but I figured when I got to Elite 4 I probably should be using him, so trained him up a little bit. We found him at level 20 at Route 213, and uh, he's a pretty swell guy. Shofu's fly like that HMO too, because he knows fly. <coughs> and uh, next is Pony Tits, the adamant Rapidash, which only knows good special attacks. <coughs> he never got around to using Flare Blitz, which was kind of bad. He would have learned it next level, but he never got around to it, so that's that's uh, that's my little baby Rapidash. Claudio, we hatched him all the way from an egg at level 1, so got him from level 1 to level 54. Got him from Riley. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. Last, but not least, Balls. My bro Balls. Got him in the Great Marsh at level 21, and, uh, my balls was a pretty cool guy. <coughs> I loved him. And that, guys, is the last of all my dead Pokemon. And I'm gonna end this video series here, so click the thumbs up button if you to show me if you guys enjoyed this series. <coughs> and I appreciate it. Later.